Also, you have to easily connect to any calendar to your Alexa right here. It can be Gmail, Google, Outlook, etc. It can literally be any calendar. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to click on these three lines in the top left hand corner. In doing so, you'll be brought to the screen like here or you just want to go to the settings on it, or you can also ask Alexa to take you to the settings page like here. Now, once you're on this page, you want to go to the accounts and profiles option and basically click on the link calendar accounts. When you click on this, you'll be brought to the screen like so, where you can actually see if you want to connect which calendar from which person that's associated with this Alexa. Now, in this case, I'm going to click on mine just because I'm trying to do that. And you can actually choose which account you want to connect, whether it be Google, Microsoft, or an Apple one. In the process, for signing into any of these accounts is all the same. You basically just need to enter in your username or email and enter in your password associated with that account. And once you've done that, you'll be brought to this screen right here where we'll say calendar link. And once you actually sign into the account that you wish to connect, you can simply click on allow for all of these things such as notifications, calendar events, etc. In doing so, it'll link the account to Alexa. And as you can see, if we just close this window in the top left hand corner, it will actually just show us all of the calendars that are currently connected on this Alexa. Now you can easily enable or disable them with this little button over here. And doing so, you can basically click on continue once you're done. Or if you wish to remove it, you can simply click on your name once again and simply click on the calendar that is selected and actually remove it from here. And how you can actually view all of the calendar events when we're back on the home screen like so, so they'll be displayed right here. You can click on different days if you wish to view different events on different days, or you can actually click on these three lines in the top or left hand corner and click on the calendar option or go into settings once again, and then accounts and then calendar. And you can actually see we can easily go to this page like so, where it'll basically load us the calendar. You can view different events in it and even add an event in the top right hand corner. In doing so, you can basically choose the time, start date, whether it be all day, location, or any notes and what is actually going on and click save and that will easily be added to your Alexa calendar. If you found this helpful, please leave a like down below. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.